Hello students. Before starting with the next topic phenols, I would like to remind you that I have posted the questions on the topic alcohols. 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 or 4 mark questions. Write the answers to all those questions in a separate paper or in a separate book. Now let us continue with the next chapter that is phenols. Phenols are also hydroxy derivatives just like alcohols but there is a difference here. Phenols are hydroxy derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbons. Phen means benzene, OL stands for alcohol. So phenols are hydroxy derivatives of aromatic hydrocarbons in which the hydroxy group is directly bonded to the aromatic ring. The simplest member is phenol itself having the formula C6H5OH. Now this phenol is also called as carbolic acid. The reason why it is also called as carbolic acid is that it was first isolated from coal tar. That is the reason. So remember hydroxy group is present in both alcohols and phenols. In case of alcohols, hydroxy group is bonded to a saturated carbon atom, whereas in case of phenols, hydroxy group is bonded to an unsaturated carbon atom. Next is to know the classification of phenols. Phenols are classified as monohydric, dihydric phenols depending on whether they contain one or two hydroxy groups. The first class that is monohydric phenols. They contain one hydroxy group directly bonded to the aromatic ring. The first member itself is the example that is phenol C6H5OH. Now the other examples are that of orthomethyl phenol which has a popular common name orthocrisol which has a methyl group also directly bonded to the aromatic ring along with the hydroxy group. The other isomers are metacresol having the methyl group at the meta position and then paracresol having the methyl group at the para position. So these are the examples of monohydric phenols. Now coming to dihydric phenols. Dry, dihydric phenols contain two hydroxy groups directly bonded to the aromatic ring. Now the first example quoted here is Catachol, it is the popular common name. It is also named as benzene 1, 2, diol. The other example is that of resorcinol, which has two hydroxy group at the 1, 3 position. Resorcinol is also called as benzene 1, 3, diol. Similarly, another example is that of quinol, which has hydroxy group at the 1 and 4 positions. Phenol is also called as benzene 1,4 diol. So these are the examples of monohydric and dihydric phenols. Now after knowing the classification of phenols, next we will be moving to preparation of phenols. So the first method of preparation of phenols is from haloarenes. So yes. Haloarenes, one particular example taken is chlorobenzene, C6H5Cl. Chlorobenzene on fusion with sodium hydroxide, alkali NaOH, at a high temperature of around 623 Kelvin and a pressure of 300 atmospheres will yield sodium phenate, O minus Na plus, replaces Cl of chlorobenzene so that you will get sodium phenate or it is also called as sodium phenoxide. H plus and H plus from NaOH and Cl minus is eliminated as the byproduct HCl. So we get sodium phenate or sodium phenoxide which is further subjected to acidification. Now this is sodium phenate C6H5O minus Na plus plus diluted Cl. Na plus is replaced by H plus so that you will get the product as phenol and the byproduct as NaCl. 
so this is the second step of the reaction sodium phenate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid forming phenol and sodium chloride so this is how we obtain phenol from halorenes the second method of preparation it is from benzene sulfonic acid i hope you remember the preparation of benzene sulfonic acid from benzene which you have studied already last year so let me explain that first step it is an extra step here which you have learnt last year benzene on heating with concentrated sulfuric acid h2so4 is sulfuric acid which can also be written as hoso3h on heating it will give just look there h is replaced by so3 h of benzene is replaced by so3 h sulfonic acid group that so3 h group forms bond with benzene so that you will get the product as c6 h5 so3 h and the byproduct eliminated is h from benzene and oh from sulfuric acid h2so4 to give water now this benzene sulfonic acid is further treated with sodium hydroxide naoh and subjected to acidification h plus so that so3 h group will be replaced by hydroxy group and you will get the product as phenol so this is the method of preparation from benzene sulfonic acid the next method of preparation is from diazonium salts i hope you remember the diazotization reaction diazotization reaction we have come across in the topic halo alkenes and halo arenes in particular when we were discussing sand mayer's reaction kindly recollect it so once again the next method here is from diazonium salts a diazonium salt is obtained by treating an aromatic primary amine like aniline in c6h5 nh2 with nitrous acid hno2 as you know nitrous acid is prepared in c2 by taking sodium nitrite nano2 and dilute hydrochloric acid at a low temperature of 273 to 278 kelvin you will get hno2 nitrous acid and nacl sodium chloride now this nitrous acid in turn reacts with the aromatic primary amine aniline just look to the elimination as i have shown there so how many water molecules two water molecules are being eliminated hno2 is written as o double bond n oh so elimination of two water molecules will lead to the formation of c6h5n double bond n cl same temperature 273 to 278 kelvin which is nothing but benzene diazonium chloride plus 2h2o now from this diazonium salts further we need to get phenol simple reaction that is warming of the benzene diazonium chloride this is the benzene diazonium chloride warmed with water h2o is water which is already present there that is you should heat it on a water bath on warming n2 gas is liberated just look there and water splits as h plus and oh minus oh forms bond with the aromatic ring directly by products obtained are n2 and hcl so that you will end up with c6h5oh phenol plus n2 plus hcl so this is from diazonium salts we prepare phenol another very 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 important method of preparation of phenol is a named process called as cumene process usually asked in the examination now cumene is a popular common name of a compound called as isopropyl benzene ch3 twice ch group is called as isopropyl group which is directly bonded to the aromatic ring hence it is isopropyl benzene now let us look how at first we get this isopropyl benzene benzene c6h6 just look to the reaction here benzene reacts with propene ch3ch double bond ch2 
in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride catalyst to get isopropyl benzene directly you will not understand this step just to tell you once again look to the propene molecule there shift in the position of pair of electrons one carbon becomes c plus the other c minus c minus picks up h plus from benzene look to the arrow there as it is indicated and c minus of the aromatic ring will pick up c plus so as to form ch3 ch ch3 group, group that is isopropyl group hence we get the product isopropyl benzene now this isopropyl benzene yes look to the second step here isopropyl benzene air is bubbled o2 is nothing but air or oxygen air is bubbled through cumene or isopropyl benzene so that you will get a peroxide linkage between ch of the isopropyl group peroxide linkage is oxygen oxygen linkage just look here so you will get oxygen oxygen linkage between ch and that product formed is called as cumene hydroperoxide the two oxygen atoms of air you will get the product as cumene hydroperoxide now the next step this cumene hydroperoxide the same structure i have written once again cumene hydroperoxide on warming with dilute sulfuric acid in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid so shift in the position of pair of electrons of the peroxide bond look to the arrow there as it is indicated will give you an important by product ch3 c double bond o ch3 that is acetone and the hydroxy group oh group forms bond with the benzene ring oh group forms bond with now this is the hydroxy group which forms bond with the benzene ring so that acetone is eliminated as by product and oh will form bond with the aromatic ring and you will get the required product phenol and an important industrial by product that is acetone or propane to own ch3 c double bond o ch3 therefore this method of preparation of phenol from cumene is very very important usually asked in the examination for either two or three marks so these are the different methods of preparation of phenol coming to the physical properties this is just for your information you should know one or two physical properties now phenols are either colorless crystalline solids or they are liquids now phenols are in particular poisonous in nature especially the first member phenol is poisonous in nature one more very very important characteristic property is that they are corrosive you all know iron corrodes that is forms rust in the same way phenols are corrosive if it falls on skin when dropped on skin they produce blisters or bubbles therefore you should be very careful when you are handling the solvent phenol regarding the solubility of phenols phenols are sparingly soluble in water and they are partially soluble in water whereas they are readily soluble in organic solvents so this is regarding the physical properties of phenols so till now we have discussed with the definition of phenols classification of phenols different methods of preparation of phenols that is from haloarenes from benzene sulfonic acid from diazonium salts and cumene process which is very very important then in brief we have discussed with the physical properties of phenols so in the next class we shall continue with chemical properties of phenols thank you